Going mobile doesn't mean you have to give up the traditional desktop apps that make your computing life easier. Today's app chat has independent e-business consultant Francie Black checking out some ways to make the most of some of our favorites programs. Yeah. I get so frustrated not being able to do what I do on my desktop in my palm of my hand. Sure, and you've been using Word, PowerPoint, and Excel for, what, 20, 25 years? It's oh, been the yeah. most dominant applications on the desktop. And now we're in a mobile society, so the obvious question is, how do we run Word, PowerPoint, and Excel on my on my iPad? And do you have an answer for and us? And I do, Yay. I do. <laughs> you would think it would be really straightforward, but it's not. It's actually hmm. kind of complicated. If you go to any of the app stores, Apple or Androids, and you do a search for Office, okay, mm -hmm. or PowerPoint Excel, you're going to come up with this result, most likely, that's called Quick Office. Okay, I've never this, heard of that. It is not a Microsoft product. It oh. was an independent company, but it was purchased by Google in 2012. Looky, looky. And just two weeks ago, in September of this year, they actually made it free yeah. to all users with a Google, amount, Google account. Wow, so, I like that. Yeah, that's great. And what it allows you to do is you can actually edit its native application for your iPad. Now, when you say native, it means I can use it on this. I don't have to go online to access it, right? Exactly. And that's okay. a key point is okay. that you don't have to be connected to the Internet in order to use the application. So you download gotcha. it. You can create spreadsheets, word processing documents, presentation files here. Save them locally. You can be on an airplane without a connection working on your documents. And then when you get back and you connect and it syncs up, it syncs up to Google Drive. Uh -huh. okay? So it's a great solution. Now, what Microsoft has done, okay, and we're going to take a look at it here. Microsoft has taken a different route to date. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but they use something that's called SkyDrive, and this is the equivalent to Google Drive. So this is their cloud storage. But if you have an account there, which is free, right. you can create Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and other types of documents. But this is browser-based. So you have to launch your browser, Safari, Chrome, Internet Explorer, whatever okay. it is you're using. You have to be connect online. you have to be online exactly okay. key point so if you're traveling in the airplane and you want to make it excel or word document view it or edit it you actually you couldn't do it because you have to be connected okay all, all right. right so let's take a look at them so yeah. if you are connected um, and you've created a Word, Excel, or PowerPoint document. I went in here. They actually look great. It's all that familiar functionality yes. that you have. You've seen this. You've used it. You're used to it. It's fabulous. But you have to be connected, and you have to have an account with SkyDrive. Okay. And so that's Word. Here's Excel. Looks very familiar. All your formulas and functions and so forth you can do. And here's PowerPoint for viewing mm -hmm. or for editing. Okay. Gotcha. So very, very familiar. Right. But you're in a browser. So it's not running a native app locally. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. One more option if we have a second. Mm -hmm. All right. So the other alternative that they've come up with is from Microsoft is something called Office 365. We just did this, went this route. Okay. And so this is available for home users, or it's available for small businesses, it's available for large corporations. There's a whole suite of options based on how many you need and how many users you have. This is a subscription model, okay? So mm -hmm. you pay monthly or annually for it, and you get the latest Office applications, which is great. But there's still not an Office app for the iPad, but what right. you do get is something called Office Mobile, and you can run that on your iPhone. I can access this on my iPhone? Yes, you can actually run Office apps, Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, natively on your phone. So you can edit, you can create. It's really great but it's not on the mm. iPad. Mm. So, okay. little distinction there. So, I don't want to confuse anybody, so this is it. Same thing for small business, and they mm -hmm. have, you know, larger versions as well. It's a quick review. Yes, <laughs> quick review here. <laughs> quick Office is native apps for the iPad by Google. Okay. okay. Microsoft Web Apps, free. Anybody can use them. They're based on the browser, have to have an internet connection. Okay. And then the third option is Microsoft Office 365, which comes with Office Mobile, but it only works natively. Those apps work natively on the phone, not natively on the iPad. That's a lot of information, and I know <laughs> you've got even more for us. If you go to uh, send an email to uh, Francie, what you want to do is go to this address here, iPadWisdom at gmail.com, put subscribe in the subject line, and then you'll be set up for her e-newsletter.